grapes do you eat? <laughs> <laughs> Are you eating all the grapes? Can you're I gonna, have one, please? You're gonna look like a grape soon. Can I have a grape? Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Get my grape, Dan. Looks sick. Yeah. Oh, you, I'm gonna eat you as a grape. Oh. What? What happened there? Oh, oh. That's it. Hi guys! Dad, I love the match on me. Excuse the hair. Say hey, hi, babe. Oh, it's not a picture? You're not low enough. What? I can see myself. There's, there's, right there, I can see myself. <laughs> Peace out, guys. I'm going to play FIFA. Oh my gosh. Addict. Addict. <laughs> there you go, Daddy. Are you staying with Mommy? You guys play FIFA as well? Yeah. You little traitor, go! <laughs> Don't make too much noise, guys. You're not good. Where are you going? I'll shut this door. Hi. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm so, so sorry that I've been so MIA in the last few weeks. And I haven't put a vlog out in so long. But basically, we just moved house and trying to find time to vlog and edit in between packing, arranging things for the move, looking after the kids, being a wife, and then obviously life in general, life doesn't stop because you're moving house. And so I've had so many other things to do, events to attend, people to see, and the last few weeks have just been crazy. And then not only that, but I underestimated how big of a task moving is, especially when you have kids. And so I left so much to the last minute, I was so unorganised and yeah, it was just all, it all happened so quickly and it was just, yeah, I had to put the channel and vlogging to the side for a bit. But we are all settled in now and well, I may do a little house tour soon. My mum, my baby, she's not going to cooperate, I can tell. <laughs> but yeah, it's all been a bit crazy. But I'm back and I'm gonna be back on it and you know, put more vlogs out and be more consistent. But for all of you that have been asking, that is why. But um, today I am going to start a new series on my channel called Mum Diaries. And basically it's gonna be where I share things about motherhood and share struggles, share the day to day, share the reality of motherhood. We're dedicated to the mummies and mummies to be um, because obviously motherhood is a big part of this channel and I don't want it to be all I talk about because it's not just mums that are subscribed to my channel but it is definitely something that I do want to share so this is where I will talk about mummy related things and keep it fun and exciting for you guys but to kick start the series I am going to be doing a mummy tag today so We'll see how long it takes me to get through this with Mia behaving like this. Mia's teething, so she's a bit miserable and she's a bit tired. So I'm going to have to be quick. Here, yeah, Mama. Yeah. Are you a stay-at-home mom or a working mom? So I kind of feel like I'm both and I've been both for a while. Um, I've been, I am technically a working mom because I do have a job, but I am on maternity leave, so I've been a stay-at-home mum. I've been a stay-at-home mum. Oh, she's tired. You're gonna have to bear with me, guys. So. I hope she stays asleep. I'm gonna have to speak a little bit quiet now. But um, yeah, where was I? Are you a stay-at-home mum or a working mum? So I'm kind of both. Um, I'm currently at home. I've been at home for about six, seven months now on maternity leave but I'm also a working mum because I have a job and I do plan to go back to work. Um, would you have it any other way? No. I kind of like, I, well, I enjoy being at home on maternity leave and watching my babies grow and get to a certain age before I go back to work and yes I do enjoy working. I want to one day work from home full time so I can see every stage of their development because I hate missing little things. Do you co-sleep? Before I had my babies and whilst I was pregnant, I always said I will never co-sleep. I had it all planned out on what I wanted to do and what I thought motherhood 
the right way of being a mum looks like but yes I the answer is yes I do co-sleep and I'm currently co-sleeping with Mia um I'm not really for it I've never really been for it for loads of different reasons I feel like it creates a bad habit for both you and the child and it makes it it's almost like you're making a rod for your own back you make it makes life so much harder to transition from your bed to their cot and you know it's not what I planned but when you wake up in the middle of the night and you're nursing and your baby's you're feeding your baby in bed it's so hard to put them back in without them waking up and just trying to avoid all that I have slept and newborn I didn't really do that I'd always feed her feed him put them back in their Moses basket right beside me but as they got older they just breastfed babies are just always much more clingy that's what I found in my experience but with Aiden I, I was so hard on myself with Aiden because like I said I didn't really want to co-sleep but he eventually just went, got in his cot and stayed in his cot and so I think you can plan to do whatever you want to do but just when you find that a certain thing is what your baby is comfortable with I don't think it's the worst thing in the world to go go along with that and obviously there comes a time where you know your baby should not be sleeping in your bed and so I definitely wouldn't advise it if you can avoid it if you find that your baby is okay with sleeping on their own definitely definitely you know encourage and support that what is your one must have item for your baby um i would say i have quite a few must have items but um number one would be my breastfeeding cover up i can take it everywhere with me it's just a bit of material it goes in my bag i can pull it out wherever i am on the bus in a restaurant and yeah it saves the weird looks and then also this this little jumbo seat it was actually Aiden's but I use it for Mia now and it's just so convenient the little legs stick in it if you've got a baby with chunky thighs like Mia it comes with a little table as well so you can feed them on there and just any mum will know that you might be washing the dishes you might be going to the toilet you might be in the bathroom and your baby just wants to be next to you so I just sit her in her seat and position her where I need to position her. How many kids do you plan on having? So Morgan said he's done having kids. <laughs> he basically, <clears throat> with both my kids, um, after they were born we had little scares, which I'm going to in another video, but what I mean by scares is they were both quite ill and so that kind of put Morgan off, you know, the fear of is my child going to be okay and you know, all of that sort of worrying put him off having more kids but we work with him because I don't feel finished I don't feel like as much as it's hard not now in a few years I do definitely want to have one or two more but we'll see name one thing you bought before you had your baby and never ended up using um definitely something that I tried to use but my babies wouldn't take was a dummy so I bought tons of dummies I bought different shapes I bought different brands all in the hope that my babies would fall in love with dummy or pacifier as you might call it but for some reason my kids just won't take them and I know it's kind of something that's frowned upon because you know some babies get really really used to it and don't want to stop even when you know they're like toddlers but I just really wanted them to have it you know it just soothes them and every child needs some sort of comfort and I just feel like I just felt like you know the struggle of getting them to stop I'd cross that bridge when I get to it and so I tried and tried and tried to get them to fall in love with a dummy but it just never worked and so loads of dummies that I had that I never actually they never actually used. The child's favourite food um Aiden used to really really love food <laughs> used to chop for food with my mum and dad but um he's kind of gone off it now as he's getting older 
but he really likes spaghetti bolognese at the moment when he does decide to eat. How many cars does your family have? We used to have two, but now we have one. We only really need one now. Weight gain before pregnancy, during, after, and now. Um, I never really made a point of finding out exactly what I put on weight-wise during my pregnancy, but um, I was always about 10 or 11 stone before my pregnancy, pregnancies. I'm a firm believer in you shouldn't watch what you're, you're eating whilst pregnant. That is a time where you should indulge in whatever you want to indulge in and there should be no limits. So come to any cravings you have, obviously, unless it's unhealthy for the baby. But I don't feel like women should, you know, feel restricted in their pregnancy. I feel like you should eat whatever you want to eat and then work on it afterwards. But um, yeah, I ate whatever I wanted to eat throughout both pregnancies. I definitely did put on weight, but I'm not sure exactly how much. Obviously, I did the routine um, weight checks when I went on my um, hospital checks and things like that, but I never really took note of it myself. And for some reason, I always seem to lose a ton of weight after my pregnancies. My neck goes all skinny. and. <laughs> I don't know what it is, I think it's down to breastfeeding, but again, I haven't even, I haven't weighed myself for a long time, but I think I'm probably about 10 or 11 stone again. Dream holiday with your kids. Dream holiday with the kids. When Mia is a bit older, I definitely want to go to Disneyland with both of them. I just think it looks amazing for the kids. I feel like they will really, really enjoy it, but that's definitely on our to-do list. How has your life changed since your baby has been born? Well, as you grow, as you live life, life changes anyway. But I think when you become a mum, your whole outlook on life changes, your perspective, um, you just see everything differently. And I think mentally, so much has changed in terms of what is important to me, you know, things that I used to care about that I no longer do. Um, and then obviously there's the physical things like sleeping and having time to yourself and doing whatever you wanna do whenever you wanna do it. That becomes a myth basically. I'm used to it now, but that is definitely something that I struggled with. I used to get really cranky with Aiden, like when, not with him, but when I had him, I would get really, really cranky if I didn't have a lot of sleep, but I'm so used to it now. Your body just kind of becomes accustomed to it. Finish the sentence. It makes my heart melt to see. It makes my heart melt to see Aiden and Mia interacting because when Mia was born, obviously newborns are quite boring. All they do is sleep, poop and eat. And Mia did that for the longest time and obviously they're not really responsive when they're that early, and that young. But um, of late, Mia has, you know, been laughing at Aiden and that made my heart oh. Um, Have I always wanted kids? Yes, I have always wanted kids. I was always one of those little girls that you would see with the little baby dolls trying to be a mum. So yes, I've always wanted kids. And Mia's waking up, final question. The final question is, um, what is the best part of being a mum? I think the best part of being a mum is seeing how challenging it is and still reaping the rewards such as, she woke up. Yes, so such as seeing your children smile. But yes, I'm gonna have to go now, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tag and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Are you gonna sit in your chair now, please? You can. Cheese. Cheese. Come this way and do it then. Come and look in the camera. Come. Can you see yourself? Look. 
Go look at the camera. Look. Cheese. It's not there. Look, look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. Can you see it in the camera up there? My mum is handy. At least one thing that I do want to share. So, anytime there's a scene. Babe, this is not gonna work. My kids as well. <laughs> Babe, he's kind of ruining my video here. <laughs> go to daddy, go and play FIFA. Go on. 